Happy Friday. Welcome to FCHS Friday Live. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Nicole. And we are here going to make a delicious chocolate peanut butter oat bar. Yeah. Okay. This isn't um, at the top of super healthy because it is going to have chocolate and butter. But what we love about making homemade treats is that you can control the ingredients. Okay. The first thing you're going to do is grab an 8x8 eight eight baking sheet and parchment paper or wax paper and this is just so that we can just lift it out. This is a no-bake dessert. Yeah. Which is fabulous in the summertime. So I have two sticks of butter melting in a pot here. I kind of started that already. Nicole's going to add the brown sugar. Half a cup of brown sugar. Just dump it all in there. Okay, and then one teaspoon of vanilla. Yeah. And we're just gonna mix this until the butter is melted and the sugar is dissolved. Boop. Go ahead, dump it in. The burn right there. Okay, just dump it. Are you okay? Okay. All right. So we're just going to melt this. So like I was saying uh, before the phone rang, making homemade treats, you can control the ingredients. So, and you know what, what the ingredients are because when you buy processed, um, processed sweet treats, you don't know what kind of preservatives and how much sugar and whatnot is, is in there. Mm -hmm. Now this is a peanut butter chocolate treat. If you are allergic to peanut butter, you can use the wow butter as a substitute. Or you, Nutella. Not Nutella. Well, you could use Nutella. You could actually play around with all the ingredients. Um, if you like the flavor of banana, banana mixed with chocolate and peanut butter is really good, and you have a banana going bad, you can smush this up into the oats as well. You can top it with uh, coconut would be good, right? Coconut. I love coconut. Okay, so two sticks of butter, half a cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and Nicole, why don't you dump the cup of oats? We're gonna do three cup of oats. Just dump it and then keep scooping, okay? While she's doing that, I'm just gonna add a pinch of salt. Okay, good. They don't have to be exact. I know when, you, when you're baking, you need exact measurements of flour and baking soda. Um, this is heaping, and one more cup. And I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, I'm turning off the heat and I'm just coating all the oats. All right, dump that in there. Okay. Okay, and then can you spread, um, stir that around? While that's getting mixed together, I have one cup of chocolate chips and I'm gonna add three quarters a cup of peanut butter. And we're just gonna melt this in the microwave. Thirty second interval. Yeah. Thirty seconds. Is that it? Yeah. It's okay. Good. That looks good. Okay. So we're gonna take our pan. You just want all of this coated so there are no dry oats. So you just want it all wet with the butter mixture. It's gonna look like that, mm -hmm. okay? So I'm gonna put half the mixture into the pan. You wanna, okay. Okay, and then I'm just gonna press it, making it flat and square. Okay, I'm gonna check the chocolate. Hi, Carol. Okay, so we're gonna give the chocolate and peanut butter a stir. We're probably gonna have to do this two times and then it should be the perfect consistency. Also, hi Colleen. Thanks for joining us. Did we try this recipe yesterday? Yeah. How good was it? It was super good. It was super good. So our house is going to be stocked with these peanut butter bars and they are not gonna last. Yeah, I'll probably eat them all. What does make this um, a healthy treat is adding the oats because there's a lot of nutrients and fiber in whole grain oats. 
so that is a plus, and you do get some protein from the peanut butter. Yeah. Okay, so that's kind of flattened out into a square. Let's check our chocolate. This is Ooh. looking good. Yeah, we put, we melted the chocolate chips and we put some peanut butter. So okay, I think two times was enough. Yeah. I'm just going to mix it. That smells, how does that smell? If you guys love the flavor of peanut butter and chocolate, you will love this dessert. So look at the consistency. It's like... Okay, so I'm going to put most of this in here. I'm going to save a little bit for the top. So we just add that to the center. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to save a little bit for later. And you just spread it and cover all of the oats. Mm -hmm. You just want to get every corner. Because remember, we're turning these into bars. Okay, so that's covered. And like I mentioned before, if you want to change the flavor profiles and add that smushed banana into the oats, that's going to be your middle layer in there. You can add certainly sprinkles of coconut, like I said, but we're just going with the chocolate and the peanut butter. So we have the second layer, and then we're going to add the rest of our oats. Right on so top. It's like a layer. That's why I said it was okay if it's a heaping, heaping cup, because if you have a little bit more than the three cups, that's totally fine. You want to make sure you have enough of oats. Oh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. And I love that this is no bake because it's fun to have dessert, but it's too hot to turn that oven on and to actually cook in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So now, we're not gonna dump the rest of the chocolate, we're gonna do a little drizzle. So you're just gonna take spoon and kind of just drizzle it across the top. And yes, Nicole, you can lick the spoon when we are done. She likes to do that. Yeah, I love chocolate and peanut butter. Okay, look at that, that looks great. Okay, so you can have about that later. So you're, with your drizzle, it looks like this. You just put it in the refrigerator for at least four hours and just set it like this. And then when it's ready to come out, you just pop out your wax paper or parchment paper and you cut it into squares. Your pan isn't even dirty. It's fantastic. Yeah. So, here's the batch we made yesterday. You can, you can see, um, here. Okay, you can see the oat layer, you can see the chocolate layer, you can see the second oat layer, and then the drizzle. I cut them up really small. You can have them big. How does it taste? It's super good. Super good. You really taste the peanut butter with the chocolate. I love melting them together. You taste the oats. It's really like a homemade granola bar. Delicious? Yeah. And it doesn't matter what kind of peanut butter you use. We use creamy. You can use chunky if you like extra nuts. So these won't last long. Happy Friday. Comment below um, if you make these, if you added any flavor changes to them. Join us next week. We're going to be making macaroni and cheese bites. Happy weekend. Bye.